Hey guys, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. I'm doing this video on my iPod. So, hopefully the quality is decent. And hopefully it's better than the uh, one where it was going pss, 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 and all that. I hated that when I look back at that. Anyway, so, it's me, it's me, it's me to December, it's me and I'm back again with another video. And this time it's a review of 1935's uh, Mad Love, starring Peter Lorre, Francis Drake, Clive Col not Clive Colin, Colin Clive. And Ted Healy. Now, this movie, according to what I read, was something Peter Lowy said, hey, I'll do that because I'm going to be the lead in Crime and Punishment. So, he did this as a favour and, yeah, well, you know, he agreed to do this. I don't know if it was a favour or not, but he agreed to do this because he was going to get the lead role in the other film. But anyway, and this film he plays a doctor, Dr. Gogol who's a uh, famous Parisian doctor who helps the poor and basically does these incredible surgeries for help people who can't afford their way and is a well-respected surgeon. But he's obsessed with Francis Drake's character, Yvonne Orlac, who is this amazing actress in the theatre and it's her last night and he goes and sees her every single night because he's that obsessed with her. So... Because it's her last night, there's a waxwork made of her that people basically stare over. And it's the actress herself, for the most part, uh, pretend to be the uh, waxwork statue thing. Anyway, he's like, oh no, it's your last night. Because she tells him at the end, it's my last night. He goes, no, it cannot be. I've got to see you constantly, you know. I can't live without you. I need you because it's something I'm used to. I love you. I want to be. I want to see you, you know, because he's obsessed with her. Anyway. So, he finds that out. She's waiting for her husband to come on the train to see her. And he's a pianist. And on the way, you find he's in the car. Yeah, in the car. Like, in the um, train car. With somebody else. Well, there's a serial killer in the next one. Who is a knife thrower. Now, in case you don't know, knife throwing is one of my favourite things. I love flipping the knife and throwing it. I practised it at um, dartboards as a kid. Brilliant. Absolutely amazing. Nothing more satisfying than hitting the bullseye. Anyway. So, yeah, pretty good that bit. <laughs> so, <clears throat> when the when the, uh, when the the uh, train crashes, you find out that the um, the uh, seal killer is going to be executed. And the pianist guy, uh, who's played by Colin Clive, Stephen Orlag, who's married to Yvonne Orlag, he gets in a serious injury where his hands are completely damaged. And he's told, we need to amputate your hands. But because Yvonne knows how obsessed Dr. Gogol is with her, she says, take him to Paris and he'll sort it. Well, he does. He does. He fixes his hands. And uh, it's not all what it seems. So you may figure out, but basically uh, Stephen gets really angry and starts throwing knives at people. <laughs> so that kind of tells you a little bit about what happens there. Now let's go to uh, Peter Lorre's Dr. Gogol, right? Dr. Gogol is an interesting character because he constantly tells her, I love you. I need to be with you. You need to be mine. Nobody else is just mine. And every time she goes, no, you disgust me. I want to be your friend, and I owe you everything for saving Stephen's life, but I cannot be with you, even if I was single. I'd never be with a man like you. So, Dr. Gogo ends up doing naughty things, and he ends up showing that he's not particularly a nice guy. Now, the cinematography in this, with the lighting and the shadows, is really good, because this is in black and white, obviously. And in a lot of ways, black and white films had really fantastic lighting and, like, the shadows and the tones were so much better. It's hard to explain, you know, but black and white just nails it so perfectly that a lot of uh, coloured films uh, back in the 60s and even now just don't match it, you know. Peter Lowe is a fantastic actor. I've been watching him a lot lately in the Mr. Moto series. And I loved him in, I think it's The Man Who Knew Too Much, the Alfred Hitchcock movie. I might have the name wrong, but I'm sure that's it. Uh, fantastic actor. Just shame just shame that he uh, had so many issues in his career because of um, issues. But I actually heard on the documentary on the Mr. Moto thing. Uh, I will say this. The ending 
is kind of like a, uh, a kind of point. The ending is funny because it's kind of like, if you hadn't done this, you probably would have been okay, you know. Pillow is laughing this as uh, Dr. Gogo, hilarious near the end, where he's like, ha 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 ha, I showed them, ha 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 ha, you know. Absolutely brilliant. Now, there's a lot of things like people think, oh, he's having a fever, because the one thing I didn't tell you was when, at the end of that night, he buys her waxwork, uh, a waxwork figure, uh, and puts it in his place. Now, the one thing I couldn't help but think is if, if this was the 70s or 80s, this movie, he wouldn't have just been talking to it, he would have been doing other things to it, because, hey, back then, there were no rules, you know, people did things like that. Just look at, um, you know, Maniac with Elijah Wood. Uh, how crazy he was in that with it, you know. I still feel like that movie's a dream. Every time I watch Maniac, it's like a dream. I don't know why, but it just feels like it, because you're looking through his eyes, you know. But yeah, so, as uh, as uh, Stephen Orlack tries to heal his hands, you know, because he thinks, oh yeah, they're fixed, he just can't get the rhythm. So, you know... It gets more and more tense and suspenseful from there. And I highly recommend this movie. Now, this movie is what? 86 years old, is it? Yeah, I think it's 86 years old. If it came out in 1935, or is it 87? Either way, you get my drift. Incredible. Incredible movie. It's kind of horror, but it's kind of like gothic horror in a way. But it's not that bad, you know? It's one of these movies where you're more into the uh, minds of the people. More, especially Dr. Gogol, because you see him slowly deteriorate, slowly getting to these things where he's talking to himself, where his eyes are getting more and more, you know, insane. And it's just incredible to watch. It's a great movie. I highly recommend it. I got it from uh, Warner Archive. It's only a 68-minute movie, so it's not even that long. With the credits in the beginning... It's probably like 67 minutes, because they didn't have long credits and that back then. But I highly recommend it. I really do. Great movie from the 30s. Great stars. Great acting. Pretty tense ending as well. So yeah, definitely recommend Mad Love. Give it a go. If you've seen it, let me know what you think down below. And I look forward to talking to you on the next one. As always, guys, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time for the next review. Take care, guys. And sorry about the camera again. Uh, but this will have to do for now, so hopefully it works out for you. Okay, thanks guys. Bye-bye.